everyone, it's Mark. With Pokemon Journeys being on a short two-week hiatus right now, I figured now would be the perfect time for me to preview the rest of the Masters Tournament. I am assuming that if you are watching this video, then you have probably already seen the two collabs that I have done talking about the Masters Tournament. I had a lot of fun with those videos, and I'm glad you all seem to enjoy them as well, but they were mostly my friends' thoughts and not my own. So in this video, I'm going to analyze and predict every single battle in this tournament in the most thorough way possible, because that's kind of what I do. Well, I'm not really going to talk about Leon versus Alon, because that kind of already happened. R.I.P. Alon. Anyways, this controversial first battle did do a good job of setting up what we can expect from this tournament. We'll have each trainer using three Pokemon in the first round. Each of them will be able to use one battle technique or gimmick, and there's a good chance we will get to see some returning characters come back, just like Marin and Professor Sycamore did. So, with that in mind, let's dive into the next battle we will be seeing, Lance versus Diantha. This is a matchup between the 4th and 5th ranked trainers in the World Coronation series, so on paper, it should be one of the toughest battles to predict. We saw Lance finish as the runner-up of the previous Masters tournament at the beginning of Pokemon Journeys, and we have not really seen or heard from Diantha since the end of XYZ. Through various previews, we have already seen the three Pokemon that each trainer will be using in this battle. We expected to see Gyarados and Dragonite on Lance's team, but the shock inclusion of Hydreigon definitely raises some question marks. As for Diantha, we only knew about her Gardevoir prior to this tournament, but it was unsurprising to find out that she'll be using Gorgeist and Aurorus, two Pokemon that Diantha has in her champion team in Pokemon X and Y. I think most of these new Pokemon are going to be largely irrelevant, kind of like what we saw with Alon's Malamar. It's cool to see these new Pokemon get introduced, but let's be honest, we all know that Diantha's hopes are riding on her Mega Gardevoir. If this thing can take down Lance's team of dragons, then Diantha is going to be the one moving on to the semifinals. Taking a look at Lance's team, it's interesting how Pokemon Journeys has really positioned the Red Gyarados as his ace Pokemon since back when he caught the Red Gyarados, his ace Pokemon was Dragonite. However, since we are likely to see both Ash's Dragonite and Iris's Dragonite in this tournament, I'm guessing that Lance's Dragonite is probably going to get a similar debuff as we saw with Alon's Mega Charizard X, a once powerful Pokemon relegated to a much weaker role. The only remaining wild card in this battle is which of Lance's Pokemon is he going to Dynamax? It's kind of interesting that Lance is a Dynamax user anyways, since none of his Pokemon can Gigantamax, although his Gyarados could technically Mega Evolve if he had the required Mega Stones. For my prediction, I'm going to contradict myself a little bit by saying that this battle will come down to Dynamax Dragonite versus Mega Gardevoir. I said Lance's Dragonite probably won't be as powerful as we expect it to be, but I do think it'll be his last Pokemon standing before it goes down to a Moonblast from Mega Gardevoir. As for any potential returning characters we may see, this is a difficult one to predict. There are not any obvious choices like with Sycamore and Marin, but maybe we'll see some of Ash's former traveling computer companions watching from home. Let's shift over to Cynthia versus Iris. I think most of you feel like this battle is going to be pretty straightforward and that Cynthia is going to wipe the floor with Iris, but man, I really don't want that to happen. Iris knows she got a terrible draw though. The moment she found out who she was battling, her heart must have dropped. This battle is technically a rematch since we did see a Cynthia versus Iris clash back in the Best Wishes series, although that was basically just a training battle for little Axew. Back then, Cynthia's Garchomp was no match for Iris, but to be fair to the little guy, it did manage to knock Garchomp off its feet and land some serious damage with Giga Impact. That's not going to be enough to win Iris this battle in the Masters Tournament though, as Cynthia's Garchomp, for my money's worth, is the second strongest Pokemon in this entire tournament besides Leon's Charizard. Taking a look at the rest of Cynthia's team, we know that she'll be using Milotic, a Pokemon that we have not previously seen Cynthia use in the anime, but is on her team in the games. We've already seen her Roserade and Kamoa in Pokemon Journeys, and previously we also saw her Glaceon and Gastrodon, so Cynthia is not short on options here. As for Iris, we know Haxorus will probably be her last hope, but what about her other two Pokemon? We know both Dragonite and Excadrill are pretty strong, and it's unknown just how strong any of her other Pokemon have become, or if she has caught any new ones. If I may though, might I suggest that Iris' key to victory here is actually the cutest Pokemon in her possession? That's right, I'm talking about Emolga. Fun fact, Emolga has never lost in an official battle before. It's undefeated! Remember how we all thought Ash's Dragonite was so strong for going undefeated for so long? Well, that's not nothing compared to Iris's Emolga's reign of dominance. This thing has been undefeated for way longer. So my suggestion to Iris for this battle would be to spam moves like Attract and Nuzzle against Cynthia's Pokemon and just let Emolga sweep Cynthia's entire team. I can't see how that could possibly go wrong. This strategy may actually be Iris's best bet to win here, especially since I don't think she's going to be using any battle techniques for this one. She has never been shown using Dynamax, Mega Evolution, or Z-Moves prior to this, so unless she really surprises us all, then that trend will probably continue. As for Cynthia, if her Garchomp wasn't already strong enough, now it can Mega Evolve? Oh god, this thing is going to be a real problem. How in the world is Iris supposed to beat that? Last thing to note about this battle is any potential returning characters. I think this is a pretty easy one and that Silen will likely be watching this one, and 
and Drayden is also probably a good guess since he's kind of Iris's mentor on her road to becoming a Dragon Master. Okay, Ash versus Steven. I am really excited for this battle. Like, I know a lot of people wanted to see Ash battle Alon, Lance, or even Diantha in the first round, but I am fired up to see a totally fresh matchup against Steven. It was the most unpredictable way to start the tournament, and I think it's going to be a great battle. Confirmed to be in the battle so far is Gengar and Pikachu for Ash, while Steven will be using Cradilly and Metagross. The only other Pokemon we know that Steven owns in the anime is an Aeron and Agron. You tell me which one of those is more likely to appear in this battle. Ash's third Pokemon is also a mystery, but would it be totally out of the question to rule out Ash winning with just two Pokemon to mirror how Leon was able to win his first battle using just two Pokemon? I wouldn't be super shocked if that happened, but I do think it's probably unlikely. Since I think Ash will likely use Gigantamax Gengar in this battle, I think his other team member will be one of the three not known to use any special battle technique. This causes a slight issue since we did see Dragonite battling Paul's Garchomp, so are we saving Dragonite for a potential second round showdown against Cynthia's Garchomp? On the other hand, after seeing Sir Fetched and Dracovish bond in episode 103 and 104, I think it would be pretty strange to not see them appear again in the same battle. As for any returning characters we'll see in this one, I think Sawyer has got a decent shot of watching this alongside its Sceptile, and this might be the time that we finally get a May and Max return. Since Steven may bring up during the battle how they first met back at Granite Cave, and if May was ever going to return to Pokemon Journeys, a non-speaking cameo like this one makes the most sense. I also wouldn't be shocked to see Ash's Alolan family and classmates cheering him on, and of course, he'll have the hometown support from Palatown as well. With that, we've talked about every single quarterfinals matchup, so let's go to the bracket. We already know that Leon has advanced, obviously that would have been my prediction anyways, but whatever. As for Lance versus Diantha, I'm taking Diantha in that one. I'm only about 60% confident in that prediction, but I'll go with Diantha. Ash is definitely defeating Steven, no questions asked. And then there's Iris versus Cynthia. Man, oh man, do I want Iris to win this one. Like, honestly, I think Iris defeating Cynthia would potentially be my favorite moment of this entire tournament if it happened. Of course, pretty much everyone is going for Cynthia, and it just makes so much sense why she would win. But hey, this is my video, and no one actually cares whether or not I get these picks right. Like, nothing is on the line here, so screw it. I'm picking Iris to win. Come on, let's go, Iris. By the end of this tournament, it's going to be Cynthia and Diantha asking to take a picture with you. Okay, so previewing the semifinals then, starting with Leanne versus Diantha, and well, I don't have much to say about this one to be honest. Like, the semifinal on Leanne's side of the bracket is easily the least interesting battle in this entire tournament in my opinion, since the outcome is a foregone conclusion. It will probably come down to Mega Gardevoir versus Charizard, not sure what Leanne's Dynamax strategy will be for this one, but does it really matter? I don't think it does. Okay, let's quickly move on to the other semifinal where, oh yeah, I predicted that this will be an Ash versus Iris rematch. Uh, yeah, that's definitely not gonna happen, so I'm just going to preview Ash versus Cynthia instead. If the semifinals are still 3v3, then Cynthia's team will be made up of two randoms and Mega Garchomp, while Ash will use whatever three Pokemon he doesn't use in the match against Steven. If I had to guess, this will be the battle that Ash uses Mega Evolution, since you'd have to think that whatever gimmick Ash uses will have to be used against Garchomp, and well, 10 million volt Thunderbolt probably isn't going to work. Although we have seen Ash find ways around game logic before. If I had to throw down some guesses for potential returning characters who may be watching this battle, I think Dawn is a good shout potentially a Flint and Vulcan reunion would have eyes on this one, and if Mega Lucario is activating its true aura bond with Ash, then maybe we'll even see Ash's Greninja again just like during the Raihan battle. Let's go back to the bracket, and yeah, Leon and Ash are definitely making it to the finals. I mean, come on, we didn't build up this entire series of Pokemon Journeys to have the Masters Tournament end any other way than Ash versus Leon battling for the title of World Monarch. Somehow this battle is going to get turned into a 6v6, but I really hope they keep the rule of each trainer only being allowed to use one of their gimmicks, which I think will come down to Gigantamax Charizard versus 10 million Volt Thunderbolt. That may be how the battle ends, but I am sure the rest of this full battle will be filled with twists and turns. My guess is probably three episodes will be dedicated to this battle, and hopefully once it's all said and done, we'll be able to look back on this matchup as one of the greatest battles in the history of the Pokemon anime. I think we'll see a ton of returning characters watching this battle, but the main ones I want to highlight are the people that Ash has actually encountered in Pokemon Journey specifically, from people like Karina and B to any of the other Galar Gym leaders that Ash has interacted with. Even Professor Sonia and the Cerise family will probably be watching this one too. Okay, who is going to win though? That's what we all want to know. I've heard a lot of people speculate on if this will be Ash's last series of the anime as the main protagonist, and yeah, whatever. I've heard that all before, I just don't think Ash is on his way out. So how could the outcome of this battle affect the future of the anime? Well, I feel like regardless of whether or not Ash wins or loses, he still made it to the finals of the World Coronation series, a tournament that has been watched all over the world. I honestly don't think it makes too much of a difference whether or not Ash wins, because he should be famous either way. But then again, Ash should have been pretty famous for a long time now, and that hasn't stopped him from 
remaining relatively anonymous for the majority of the anime. And as far as him being one of the top two trainers in the world, well, it's just as simple as him going to a new region with only Pikachu and he starts all over again, just like what has always happened. At one point, I don't know, like six months ago, I really wanted to do a predictions collab with another YouTuber who covered Journeys Weekly, and I wanted to put a bet on whether or not Ash would defeat Leon. I thought it would be fun content if the loser had to do the cinnamon challenge or some spicy food challenge or something like that, I don't know. The only reason I bring this up is because back then, I was willing to risk it and take the side that Ash was going to lose against Leon. And, well, by this point, I've changed my mind. I think Ash is going to defeat Leon and win the Masters Tournament. I think that's what we've been building towards. I could be wrong, I'm not 100% sure on this prediction, but I think that's where the anime is headed. Overall, I just can't wait to see how this tournament plays out. I'm super excited to see all of these amazing battles, as long as they don't tear the fanbase apart like Leon vs. Alon did. I'd love to hear all of your predictions down in the comments. Be sure to like this video as well and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.